out the sedan again. As you can see, it is now white. I, uh, I couldn't get the pink right, I wasn't happy with it, so I just went back to white. So I just need to get this out of the way. It's uh, April 1st, or probably 3rd or 4th of April, 21. And um, what I've done is, I've just painted everything Ford Frozen white. Um, I have everything on it now ready to go, except for the mirrors, which will be going on when I get it pulled out of here. Just to, I don't want to scratch them there on the lift around the door. Um, I'm just starting to get these uh, lights wired up, so I thought I might make a video of this. Um, these lights have to be polished, sanded and polished. So these lights are different wiring, which I found out the hard way. I haven't watched any of them videos before. So I, I did say when I was doing this that the wiring is the same. But uh, that's the headlight of the Mark 6 within the, that's your indicator. It's wired different, I think it was wired up here, somewhere different. So that has to be brought up to here. And I'm just gonna cut it and I'll figure out what these are. And I'll, uh, I might make a video on that. That's that indicator, indicator there again as well. Yeah, so I have the body painted white as well, but I messed it up, so I just need to give a quick coat over it again, and uh, I'll be throwing the body on. Right, that's that roughly where I wanted there. I didn't have any enough of both to do this at the beginning. I'm gonna leave it hanging there for. All the bolts in, you all fit it, thank God. I haven't uh, the lock nuts on the bottom yet, just in case. Um, what I was meant to do when I got this body, I was meant to seam seal down all these seals before I went outside. And uh, rust has got in between just a little gap or water and just rusted it out. And it just looks messy everywhere it's gotten in, it's just stained everything. So I went around with just hammer right and just fill the gap with hammer right. Uh, it'll do for now.
just most of that side on there. What I'll do is uh, if I need dust, I'll give it a wash, the pressure washer. So you won't see as much as this once the floor goes on, that will be covered in the shade, everything in there. So hopefully you won't see that. Which all went together fairly easy though. So yeah, I'm running out of nuts and washers. Well, washers and nuts, yeah, I'm running out of everything else fitted on well. So I just need to go run and buy some more. Probably throw this in the shade and I'll put the winch and stuff on it tomorrow. This is the transit finished. Slow down, move over. Any well, any recovery person probably know that. But anyone that doesn't, um, look it up on Facebook or just Google it. It's, uh, it's to protect workers on the side of the road, especially on dual carriageways or motorways and America highways. Um, all the sun visors in. Sign right and done. This nylon rope, I'll uh, if I can get one made up specially for the other truck because I want it a, bit, a good bit longer, I'll be getting it. It's uh, unreal to use. It's been, it's been what six, seven years since I had uh, an electric winch, and I always remember you'd always, it'd always spool up. Or bird's nest if you didn't have tension on it, so you always have to be pulling on it. That's not, that's just sitting there now, loose. And when you disengage it, um, it's easy to pull, it nearly falls down. If it was on a snatch block, it would nearly roll off itself. My five year old daughter can pull that winch wire out, no problem at all. So I'll definitely be uh, looking into getting it for the bigger truck. It's just the uh, winch wire that's on the bigger truck is only a year old, so I'll get another while out of it. But yeah, trucks came out nice. What I'll do now is, uh, I went out last night around 3 o'clock when it was dark, just the middle of June, so it doesn't get dark here till half 11. Even half 11 last night, it was still a bit bright, so I'll just put that clip in now.
put slow down move over on the back as well. On the inside of everything wired up, they're just my lights for the cab. Flash numbers, there's a flash number on the back for uh, just the tail of the truck on the side and the back. And then them three are the top work lights. And then they're the work lights at the back beside the number plate and the underlit ones under the body. Put a radio in. Took me half a day just to mount that fucking thing. They're uh, not made for mounting them to these trucks. I think that's, that's done there. Yeah, so that's the yoke finished. Um, I brought it down, I know what it's like in England, but in Ireland, because it's a new body been put on a truck, it has to have a an engineer's report, kind of conversion report done on it. And it passed that, no problem. The only thing I was worried about when I measured it, after I'd done, I measured it in inches, the overhang off the thing, and it was like half an inch. Whatever way I'd done it, but I measured it in mil, then I had six, 60 mil spare on the end here. So that passed, no problem. And if anyone is converting a body, don't skip on the bolts. The last truck I done, there was one bolt missing at the very front on the daft, the other daft I had the first truck, and uh, I had to go get that redone. So every single bolt put in the put in the chassis. There's one every way down, and I'd forgotten about this tab back here before we went down. I seen it, and all I did was tap this six mil plate and just bolted it in. Don't think it's going to do much anyway, but. Yeah, so that's that yoke ready. I just need to tax it now, and uh, I'm in Mayo in the west of Ireland, and taxing stuff over here is a, a hassle, so that's my biggest job list. I'll do that now next week. I've had a. Yeah, when I got the road worthy, or the test on this, uh, they done the road worthiness test on it as well. And funny, the only thing it failed on was the two wiper blades and front ball joint. Passed otherwise. And uh, she's ready to go now. I've had, it's going to be heavy enough though. I think it's going to weigh in at 1200 kgs, I reckon. I need to, they said it, they reckon it was uh, 1300 kgs on the brake test, but I need to wait for a tax it so I'll know exactly what it is and I'll post it. If I have it weighed before I put this up, I'll just put it in right now, what it weighed, and uh, that'll be that done. She's ready to go. I had the course and stuff on it. It's done real to load up on it. I thought I'd hate loading, not having to tilt and slide, but uh, the angle's very good on it and the slope isn't bad on it at all. You don't feel going over the hump at all. So it's just like driving a car up and tilt and slide. With the body being as wide as it is, it's fairly nice. There's loads of room to work. Yeah, I'll leave that there now. So that's the hammer done.